Freedom, spirit, power. There is no freedom, there is no power without spirit in the middle. I've done a previous video on the tetanus toxin lie that we've been sold. This, you can watch that by going to freedomspiritpower.com, that's my website, or you can go to brighteon.com and search for tetanus. This is a condition called local tetanus. This is a result of this tetanus toxin lie, we've been told. Most of this information is from Principles on Tetanus, 1966, sponsored by Swiss Academy of Medical Sciences, with support of World Health Organization. This is a textbook. They're describing a condition. If you look up here at bullet point three, toxin injected or produced at the site of a deep infection, and da 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 down to the end, the red letters, local tetanus. Now it's going to go on to describe all sorts of body systems involved in the toxification. But I want you to drop down to the last bullet point up here. Manifest itself in spasticity of muscles. Now I want to talk about the systems involved in this toxification. Intestinal mucosa, blood capillaries. Central nervous system. Central nervous system runs from the stem of your brain through the center of your spinal column. Peripheral nervous system. It meets the central nervous system inside your spine and then runs all the way to the end of your fingertips through to every organ in your body to the end of your toes. The peripheral is the functional part and it's most times damaged very severely with this local tetanus. Lymphatic, muscle fibers, metabolic lesion. Here's some symptoms they list. Spasticity of muscles. This is very, very specific to tetanus toxin toxification. Spasticity is caused when the top two part toxin, light chain, heavy chain, make their way all the way back up your your body from wherever it comes from injection site or infection into your central nervous system and at that point the light chain part drops off and injures your nerves synaptobrevin in your central nervous system and that's what causes the spasticity of muscles lesions it does damage along the nervous system traveling both up and down Neuropathy. Neuropathy is the lesions and, and other damage caused by this tetanus toxification. Alright, so you tell me, oh, I'm not tetanus injured. Well, maybe you're not. Maybe you've got a friend that's got one of these conditions and it really, they don't know what causes all these. Maybe they have a tetanus toxin injury too. Lou Gehrig's disease, spastic muscles, neuropathy with lesions. MS, spastic and neuropathy with lesions. Parsonage Turner, same. Brachial plexus neuropathy, same. Many other neuropathic diagnoses. Lyme disease, carpal tunnel syndrome. That's the most prevalent condition I still have left is my carpal, my hands are very much numb and they cramp over spastically like this. I have to sit and pull the muscles back up to use my hand again. So you, you yourself have one of those conditions or you know somebody that does. They can find out if theirs is mandated from the tetanus toxin by getting a blood titer test. Never heard of it, neither had I. But I've gotten many of them now. Find out who your local nat naturopathic doctor uses for his test lab. I have paid as much as $200 for this simple blood test. And as low as 55. The 55 is in the naturopathic realm. Range to expect. Protected level from the textbook is 0 .01. Normal. Maybe up to 1.0 if you've had a tetanus shot in the last 10 years. Mine after 10 years, 3.4. 3.4 3 
340 times 0.01. Mine peaked 111 days after my injection that harmed me at 18.7, 1870 times as protected level of 0.01. There's no fudge in this. It's a blood test. See my video on personal health recovery after tetanus injury. It is a process to repair this. It takes time. It's taken me 10 years and much work. Remember, there is no freedom. There is no power without spirit in the middle.